So, this is Grand Tactician, The Civil War, and um, you may not think that a European, um, no, much less a Swede, has anything to add about The Civil War. I absolutely love the fact that they added this little quote by Abraham Lincoln. Tell me what brand whiskey that Grant drinks. I would like to send it a barrel of him to my other generals. Of course, the rumor about Dra Grant drinking was just bad-mouthing, really. But, um, anyway, I was gifted this game by a squad mate in DCS, and I am a great fan of tactical and strategy games. So, we are gonna take one of the battles that I like the most, if you can use that word about the battle, but never mind. Uh, we are going to play as General Grant uh, during the Battle of Shiloh. And uh, this game has a number of interesting features, which I will discuss in a moment. Here you can see our uh, forces dug in around Shiloh's church, and you'll see that we here have a bit of a tactical, we have the tactical map, but we can also zoom in, and this will show us more of a battlefield view. And currently our forces are in a defensive position around Shiloh church. They are also uh, in uh, position around, well, I need to turn this around a bit so I can see the Duncan field. And uh, we also have intelligence of enemy movement, but the game is currently paused. So uh, the army under Johnston and Beauregard is currently set to advance upon our position. The curtain has been lifted. And we know that the enemy is on the way. The troops here are around the Sunken Road are currently deployed in a marching column. But they are also taking cover behind these fences to prevent them from being charged. Our headquarters is right here at the cloud field. But we currently have very few reinforcements protecting Pittsburgh Landing itself. So that is the battlefield. But what makes this game special is if we, we are going to set play now. And we are going to inspect the troops here. Uh, the troops at the Sunken Row, the 1st Brigade, Army of the Tennessee, that's James Matuttle. And we want him to stand up at the at this here. And here you can see move at the signal, uh, move at the time, and just advance. Now you might notice something here. These troops are moving fairly quickly, but that is because they are close to our headquarters, meaning that they got the order to move fairly. Quickly, we, Our messenger did not have to walk very far to give them the order. But as it stands right now, I have a setting on, which makes orders to be delayed. As you can see, a courier is already delivering special orders to this unit. And the formation and stance orders are possible against once the courier has arrived. So, as you can see... Uh, these units require require to be are commanded like in real life, which means that any order you give are going to be delayed. Uh, we have our reserves here, the third and second brigade. I'm thinking about maybe pulling at least the first brigade here. We can pull them up there, and we now have a cur courier rushing to the 1st Brigade, you, s you you will notice they haven't moved. Now they move, when the courier has arrived after a short set of time. And this isn't the only interesting move that the developers of this game has added. Rather, there is also this wonderful little thing that um, your generals can dislike each other. 
meaning that if you have a bunch of generals who aren't really friends or they have professional disputes or anything like that, um, they may ignore each. They may an, ignore an order they don't like, or they may do something else, or they may do something stupid. Think Sickles at Gettysburg. He basically just tore Meade's battle battle plan to shreds by just moving forward, doing his own thing. Apparently, that can happen in this game. I haven't seen it so far. Um, mostly because Halleck is actually not on the battlefield. <laughs> uh, but um, in either way, we are going to make sure that our Union forces are advanced. And as you can see, we can we here can see that HUD, that uh, the Confederates are currently advancing on the right. Uh, sorry, the left flank. It becomes and. We only have one uh, brigade there, the 2nd Brigade under David Stewart. So, we need to think hard about this. If we are going to tighten up our line, or if we are going to let the 2nd Brigade have this. I am more inclined to withdrawing the 2nd Brigade and just giving up the field. So, 2nd Brigade are clear to withdraw. Uh, the enemy are currently moving up the batteries from the Army of Mississippi. And most likely they are going to try and shell our forces here. But uh, these forces have not been given the instructions that they may retreat yet. So obviously they are still in position. Part of why I picked this battle for my first... Oh crap, we have... A number of forces currently engaged here, and it's too late to pull them back. Uh, we have the 11th Illinois Cavalry. Uh, actually, the, the cavalry might actually be pulled back, so we might do something more useful with them. But the infantry will just simply have to stand and fight for the moment. I do not see that the 1st Brigade of the Peabody and the 2nd Brigade under Miller is going to be well. At least they took the first assault back. Uh, interestingly enough, these uh, men seem to have sharks party. Uh, the enemy, are, the enemy artillery is currently opening up on the second brigade, and the second brigade is currently moving into column and. Uh, are withdrawing from that area. This battle is not really going well for us, but uh, at the moment it is what we need. Now, in regards to the delayed orders, I actually had this discussion once with uh, the developer of uh, Naval War Arctic Suck, and he and I sat at a restaurant in uh, Bergen, Norway. Me and a friend had been invited there. Uh, we had won a competition with, at Paradox. And here we can see that uh, uh, one of our one of our men, Prentice, has been demoralized, and Prentice Sixth Division is is uh, he doesn't have confidence that his brigade is going to be able to hold, and uh, we are going to try and do a fighting withdrawal to Pittsburgh Landing, as was done. But anyway, he was of the opinion that uh, games like Total War and stuff like that didn't have much terms of uh, generalship, because he was of the opinion that any gamer today, any gamer today, would be able to beat Alexander the Great if they had access to the Total War tools. And Total War tools are simple. It, in fact, they are so simple and so common in games that you are not... You don't actually realize, uh, I think, that we are gonna have that brigade uh, retreat. 
Uh, we are already retreating with the cavalry, but I don't think the cavalry even got the order. They're just broken from all the casualties they've taken. Either way, he was of the opinion that uh, anyone could basically beat Alexander the Great as long as they had the Total War tools, and Alexander did not. And the tools are beyond just having um, instant control of the units. Now, I, I, I really like the fact that they have made this into an option. You don't have to play it that way. But it sure is fun. I mean, the gameplay with delayed orders, I mean, w if I were to play this with o the orders um, with the orders uh, being instantaneous, a fighting with roll would be a piece of cake. But now my courier has to go there. And my courier has to say, hey, you guys, I want you to retreat. But during the time they'll do that, they are in an exposed position. I mean, we... I actually abandoned the 2nd Brigade and the 1st Brigade that held Spain Field because I knew that withdrawing them when they were completely engaged would not solve anything. So I sacrificed two brigades because I knew that not moving them was probably the wiser option. And that is not an op that is not something I would have done if I had a more instantaneous command structure. And I don't. So, <laughs> in that regard, the game is very interesting. Uh, I'm going to, it's going to be interesting to see if I can actually carry this. Uh, currently, it's still just morning, and the Battle of Shiloh has yet to begin in earnest. But we have a battery here that will be able to sustain flanking fire upon this. And I feel that the fo forces we have covering the Sangan Road are adequate. Uh, I'm just going to check the... We have also uh, the cotton field, the barn is... Yeah, we good. Or at least as good as I can imagine. Now, even more impressive, and I haven't shown you this, but the campaign mode is actually not just a battle. The campaign mode is fight the civil war any way you want. Which is... Frankly, an interesting way to end it in like a month or something, depending on how good you are. But that will put you in command of basically all the armies. And any army can more or less be forced into a battle. That will look pretty much like this. So, the first engagement will, will almost always be first Manassas. Uh, and I think that you guys are... Oh, there, there is a fence there. Cancel those orders, hold position, and... Oh, it's Forest Brigade. Let's see here. I want you to fire into that blagger. Well, that didn't really work well. As far as I can determine, and I would be happy if someone could contradict me on this or explain it, but as far as I can determine, uh, the closeness to the HQ is essentially uh, what will determine if something, if, um, if how quick orders are made. So here, for example, we have Wallace. We're gonna see if we can get Wallace to... Oh, wait. Uh, so basically, if we press press this button here, now we, we seem to have to give orders to the entire 2nd Division, and that's not what we want to do. 2nd uh, Brigade are currently engaged against the uh, 4th Brigade. Of but that's still a reserve unit enough but they are moving up so hopefully we did not just oh crap we did uh, we basically ordered the entire uh, the entire second division there 
and that's not what we were supposed to be doing. But okay, let's make let let's make the best we can out of this, and deploy the second division along the Sunken Road. Uh, I don't know if I can rally these units just yet. Uh, most likely they will need to rest a bit before they can do that. And uh, we have Bowen's Brigade and Stratus' Brigade coming up on the second brigade here. Yeah. However, the first... I think the first brigade is going to be given orders to not try and take on the entire confederate line by themselves. Uh, the second brigade here has been routed. So we are actually going to form up to repel on the flank. And we are also going to speed this up a bit. We're going to speed it up by, by at least five times. So... Um, the second brigade is currently moving into its new position. Uh, the third brigade is also in a somewhat new position. Trying to counter the enemy in all these spots is uh, actually a very intimidating thing to do. Uh, the Battle of Shiloh was fought over a very large area. And uh, I do not feel up to the task in actually commanding them with... I, I have more of a colonel's or a major's mindset while... Uh, oh, uh, so the second brigade has been routed. Like I said, I have more of a colonel's or major's mindset while commanding. I am not a good general in that regard. So, Williams, please have your brigade move so it can defend on the flanks here. I must also say that I do enjoy this little map here. Uh, that you can have this map looking upon the battle. And my intention is now to try and hold. We have Vernon Sherman here near the church holding out with his brigade. And, uh, yes, Hildra. And the buckler, the swing of muskets, they're just bringing the absolute pain upon this later. But they're also taking heavy fire. Uh, we do have a reserve right here under... We have the, we have the first division here. And we have the second brigade. I'm gonna see if I can rally the second brigade, but I don't, don't think I'll be able to do so. Sherman has been demoralized, and uh, he has six uh, thousand men, but he needs he needs reinforcements. He needs reinforcements. Uh, let's see here if we can actually move. Yeah, our men are being absolutely routed here. So, we're gonna send the second brigade in. Uh, but we are also getting completely outflanked. Our currently... Uh, our, our forces here are having some issues. And I think the 1st Brigade is currently ready to move. We're gonna send the 1st Brigade to the left flank. Yeah, this is coming undone fairly quickly here. I'm gonna see what we can do about the 2nd Brigade if uh, we can try and... Currently, yes, Hildebrandt and... Uh, Sherman is currently holding as far as far as best as they can. But we're also playing very Yeah, we 
good. Or not good, but uh, we are getting completely routed here. The... Um, but we haven't really... We haven't really had that much of a... Let's see if we can get... The first brigade here. Uh, the first brigade is routed. The fourth brigade is also routed. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get the second brigade here to move up and maybe reinforce it. Either way, uh, I'm, I really must enjoy the fact that I might not actually play it with the delayed orders and stuff like that, but it is a very interesting way the game. So I think we are gonna just watch and see how our positions here can affect the rest of the battle. Right now I, I'm not sure I would like Buckland to actually go there. Can Buckland please not run in straight into the Confederates? But okay. Ah, this is not going well. Uh, let's see here. First Brigade. I would really love it if the First Brigade could actually just get their act together and uh, not run straight into the Confederate fire. As for Williams, he seems to be holding. I think we can uh, dispatch the Third Brigade to support him. And this brigade can probably support Wallace and uh, we'll, we'll speed it up a bit. As you can see I'm also given a lot of pointers here about what I can do, what I should do. Uh, the Illinois Cavalry has uh, once again let's see here Okay, so that's an artillery unit. Do they have their guns? No, it seems like the, they ran and did not bring their guns with them. Well, our cavalry is currently raking the line of the Pons Brigade. So, obviously we are doing some good here, at least. But we are still heavily engaged, and we do not have the reinforcements. So, m m he, um, yeah, he was basically saying, Hey guys, we've engaged the enemy, can you please tell us what to do? Fourth Brigade, please take your weight and place in the line. Uh, playing at 20 speed is, is might be a little bit quick, but we'll try to, uh, five times, five times, or slow, just slow down to two times for the moment. That's the first four cavalry, and we have Johnson's brigade right behind. I want you to push. The enemy here seems to be exhausted. They seem to have been taking heavy casualties. And we are going to try and exploit that with a small local counter attack. The 2nd Brigade has been ordered to move up to engage Stewart's Brigade. Uh, and the 2nd Brigade here is going to be a Well, at least the front line here is stabilized, but there's a lot more craters coming our way. Second Brigade, you're clear to engage. I want you to fire on the second floor. Let's see if we can get Albert Johnson a bit early. Gibson's 
detachment is going to be taking in fire on the brigade. Yeah, uh, it seems like we actually managed to do some good here on the flank. Uh, I'm going to deploy Lawman. I know that my initial plan here was to do a fighting withdrawal, but that plan has gone shit. Mostly because we're actually holding the Confederates in a way that during the real Battle of Shiloh, uh, I mean, it's already 4 o'clock and the Confederates have yet to actually push from the area around the Shiloh Church, so obviously we have done a little bit better. But I would feel... Oh, just when I was asking for them, it seems like... We are receiving reinforcements. This, this is the 10th Brigade. And this is... This should obviously be... This is Nelson's, guys. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that Nelson's... Uh, that uh, these units... Uh, the Army of the Ohio... Is placed at the Pittsburgh Landing. They are... They can reinforce at Pittsburgh Landing. So that whatever happens, we do not lose Pittsburgh Landing. Whatever happened to the Confederate battle plan, it seems to have undergone some modifications in that we are currently holding them. And I think that we are also going to be, at least with the 1st Brigade here, uh, we are going to move them up. Uh, wounded in action, uh, Major General McClearland has been, has been uh, severely wounded. That's bad. Uh, the enemy are currently holding around uh, the Larkin lots. There's quite a lot of them too. But I want to hold close to this river rather than rather than wait for the enemy to actually pass on to it. So it's almost five o'clock, meaning that hopefully we can hold them for just a bit longer. And uh, once we've done that, we can probably sort this out. The only problem is that we will not be able to execute Grant's, um, yeah, uh, William is, uh, William's brigade seems to be in contact, but we are also moving up with the reinforcements here, uh, to Pittsburgh Landing. Uh, however, it seems like we are currently in full retreat on the right flank, which is a bad thing, because right now, the infantry I sent into the woods have been ambushed. Or they are ambushing. <laughs> it's an it's an open question which are doing which, but if we can just keep pushing on the left, we should be able to hold on the left. Uh, but on the right, Sherman is having the devil's own day. Sherman, get burning. I have three brigades here that are completely broken. I'm going to see if I can send uh, McDowell here and his regiment. Oh, they're also broken. God damn it. Um, it would be interesting to see if we could have a breakdown of the cash of these. I'm fairly certain that my casualties are higher than the rebels. But we have also managed to, especially on the left flank, just rip straight into the enemy. Uh, it's almost it's almost 6 o'clock now, so... Uh, I'm actually going to speed this up, see, and see where we're going to end up. Sherman has been routed. And darkness is falling, and fighting sees 
for today. Prepare for next day's fighting or attempt to retreat using the cover of darkness. The troops has been resupplied. And uh, Sherman was routed during the last hours. Uh, John Johnston appears to have withdrawn. And we can redeploy if we like. But we, we are not going to do that actually. We are going to let this be it. We have received substantial reinforcements. And uh, I feel that my preview of this game has run for 30 minutes. So I hope that you enjoyed this first impression of uh, Grand Tactician The Civil War. And that you have learned something about the game by watching this video. Uh, a link to the game in uh, on Steam will be in the description. Thank you, and see you around.